Good morning. It's Monday, February 27th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Blessed, and our scripture is Hebrews chapter 2. God, for whom and through whom everything was made, chose to bring many children into glory, and it was only right that he should make Jesus, through his suffering, a perfect leader, fit to bring them into their salvation. So now Jesus and the ones he makes holy have the same Father. That is why Jesus is not ashamed to call them his brothers and sisters. For he said to God, I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters. I will praise you among your assembled people. He also said, I will put my trust in him, that is, I and the children God has given me. There are many internal and external needs we humans must have to survive. Internally, our organs and blood supply must do their thing, pumping, moving, cooperating with all things biophysiological. Externally, we need air, water, and food. Some of us would have listed coffee as a necessity, but I digress. Well, those are the basics. Then there's safety from our environment, both in the natural realm, earthquakes, floods, wild animals, and the most dangerous of all, other human beings. From Cain's relationship to his brother Abel down to today's Wild West, East, North, and South, human anger is a killer of extraordinary proportions. God, says the writer to the Hebrews, is the creator of everything, and it was all made for him as well. Created beings like you, like me, were not only made by God, we were made for God. Now, that does not imply we were like dolls purchased at the store, meant to be played with and then put away for another day. It strongly informs us that we were made for relationship, for fellowship with God. Stated categorically, God desired us. He wants us. He would and did die for us. The writer of Hebrews tells us that Jesus, the Son of God, who died for us, is not ashamed to call us brothers and sisters. Paul also tells us that it goes beyond a simple, unashamed status. We are loved so greatly, God adopted all who trust in Christ and has deemed us his heirs. Romans chapter 8, And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. Now, Savor that lovely thought, the security of heaven's favor for those who believe in Christ and have entrusted past, present, and future to his care. But let's also remember we are now fully engaged in Lent, 40 days of somber preparation for the brutality of Jesus being scourged with a whip made of iron tips and broken glass shards mocked by crowds and religious leaders and enduring the sin-taking pain of death on the cross. That's quite a juxtaposition, contemplating familial love and adoptive grace at the price of unimaginable suffering in blood. Yet, that is exactly how Jesus asked us to always remember this cherished family relationship the bread of his body and the cup of his blood, those grace-filled symbols of the cost of his love and God's adoption. We are truly blessed. For you today, in your Lenten moments, it is important to remember Jesus' suffering and death for us. How else could we treasure so precious a gift? But keep in mind, that suffering is never to be repeated. The adoption has been made final. So, rejoice in it, loved and blessed one. Your adopted father said so. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.